Hi everyone, welcome to today's video class. Today our topic is Deuteromycetes, the last class under fungi. Okay, so let us discuss the general characteristic features of Deuteromycetes. First of all, Deuteromycetes is known as imperfect fungi. Deuteromycetes is known as an imperfect fungi. That means it is not a perfect fungi. Why? Because as far as reproduction is concerned in fungi, how it takes place? It takes place by asexual reproduction, okay, vegetative reproduction and sexual reproduction. Correct or not? In this fungi, asexual reproduction is observed, vegetative reproduction is observed, but sexual reproduction in this fungi was not known till now they doesn't know or, or they didn't discover how sexual reproduction takes place in this fungi so sexual reproduction in this fungi is unknown that's why it is imperfect fungi okay you see in remaining all the three classes of fungi we discussed about sexual reproduction but in this fungi sexual reproduction was not yet known is unknown okay it doesn't know so far we doesn't know whether sexual reproduction takes place or not if sexual reproduction takes place how it takes place which type of spores are formed during sexual reproduction all those are big question marks that's what is called imperfect fungi that's why they name deutero different mycetes fungi deutero means different Mycetes means fungi. It is different fungi. Why it is called different fungi? In our fungi, we found sexual reproduction. But in this fungi, we did not, we didn't find sexual reproduction. It is very, very important. One more question. Why deuteromycetes is called imperfect fungi? What you have to write? Sexual reproduction was unknown. So sexual reproduction was unknown. Sexual reproduction was unknown. So, this fungi is called imperfect fungi. In CET or NEET also, they will ask him, they will ask this question. Which of the which of the following class of fungi is called imperfect fungi? Uh, Ascomycetes, Basidiomycetes, okay, Phycomycetes and Deuteromycetes. Then, obviously, your answer must be Deuteromycetes. Okay, so why? Deuteromycetes is called imperfect fungi because asexual reproduction is fine. Yes, so asexual reproduction was found in Deuteromycetes, but sexual reproduction was unknown. That's why this is called imperfect fungi. Understood? Next. And another point. So far, sexual reproduction was not discovered. That's why they kept it as a separate group, Deuteromycetes. If sexual reproduction was discovered, no, they will merge this group in another groups. How? If they find that in this fungi, sexual reproduction takes place by formation of ascospores, then they will merge this class under ascomycetes. If they find that sexual reproduction takes place by formation of basidiospores, then they will remove this group and they will keep this group in. They will keep this group in. Basidiomyces. If they find that sexual reproduction in this fungi takes place by formation of woo spores or zygospores, then they will take this group and they will merge in phycomyces. So, as the sexual reproduction was not yet known, this was kept separately. If sexual reproduction was known, they will merge it in another group. Understood? Okay. So it is called imperfect fungi. Next, most of them are most of them are saprophytes, or you can write some of them are saprophytes. Some of them are 
saprophytes few are some of them are saprophytes few are parasite parasites but but most of them are most of them are decomposers so in deuteromycetes some fungi are saprophytes that means they feed on dead and decaying matter some of them are parasites they live on other organisms but most of them are decomposers most of them are decomposers means they decompose the waste material they break the waste material okay so as most of them are decomposers no decomposers decomposers decompose litter and helps in nutrient cycling i said you some only few are saprophytes and few are parasites but, mo but most of them are what decomposers so these decomposers what they will do is they decompose litter litter means waste litter means what waste okay they decompose litter litter when the litter was decomposed you know from that litter there will be release of many nutrients that's why they have seen nutrient cycling so these decomposers these decomposers fungi what they will do they decompose they break the litter litter means waste when they break the litter there will be release of nutrients from the so they have seen nutrients regeneration or nutrient cycling okay next mycelium is mycelium is branch and septate mycelium is branch and septate no need to explain this point many times i have explained you this point mycelium has many branches it is divided into network and it is septate that means mycelium was divided into many chambers like this that is the meaning of mycelium is branch and septate okay next asexual reproduction takes place by asexual reproduction takes place by formation of formation of asexual spores called conidia we know very well asexual reproduction means asexual spores are formed sexual reproduction means sexual spores are formed but in this fungi there is no sexual reproduction there is no sexual reproduction correct or not so in this fungi in this fungi asexual reproduction takes place by formation of asexual spores formation of asexual spores what is the name of those asexual spores conidia what is the name of those asexual spores conidia okay example for this fungi what are the examples for dytromastis let us see alternaria Colitotrichum and Trichoderma. These three are best examples for 
Deuteromycetes. Okay. Alternaria, Coritotrichum, and Trichoderma. These three are best examples for Deuteromycetes. Understood? So, these are the general characters of Deuteromycetes. Very easy. First point. They are called imperfect fungi. Why? Asexual reproduction is known, but sexual reproduction was not yet known. That's why they are called imperfect fungi. In this Deuteromycetes, some are saprophytes, feed on dead and decaying matter. Some are parasites, they live on other organisms by causing diseases. And some are decomposers. These decomposers, what they will do? They decompose litter, waste material, and releases nutrients. Their mycelium is branched and septate, divided into many chambers. Asexual reproduction takes place by formation of asexual spores. What is the name of those asexual spores? The name of those asexual spores are conidia. Okay, so example Alternaria, Colitotrichum, and Trichoderma. These are the three examples for Deuteromycetes. Okay, so with this, the general characters of Deuteromycetes is completed. So my dear students, so far we studied the general characters of Deuteromycetes. So with this, fungi topic is over. Fungi topic is over. Am I right? So fungi it is divided into four classes. First one Phycomycetes Second one Ascomycetes Third one Basidiomycetes and fourth one, Deuteromycetes. So fungi are divided into four classes. I said no. We studied the general characters of all these classes, and examples are very very important. Examples are very very important. What are the examples I told for Phycomycetes? Mucor. Okay, albigo and rhizopus. What are the examples I said you for ascomycetes? Aspergillus. Okay, next Ascomycetes. 
ये ये एन सी ये एन सी बी ए यू पी बाप डी ए सी टी इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस आल्फा बेट इट्स वेरी इजी टू आइडेंटिफाई करेक्ट एग्जाम्पल्स इन ऑब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम यू नो नीड टू राइट द नेम्स नो जस्ट यू हैव टू कंपेयर यू हैव टू चूज करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो क्लासेस विल बी देयर एट वन साइड या एग्जाम्पल्स विल बी देयर एट अदर साइड फॉर मैच यू नो नीड टू बाय आउट ऑल दीज नेम्स इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस ट्रिक नो इट इज वेरी इजी फॉर यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू सी फर्स्ट नेम ऑफ द फंड नो फाइकोमाइस्टिस आस्कोमाइस्टिस बेसिडियोमाइस्टिस ड्यूट्रोमाइस्टिस पी मार आई सेड एम मींस which start with a mucor a albigo r rhizopus a and c aspergillus neurospora claviceps a u p op in hindi there is a word op means u agaricus astilago paxilia next don't react like this remember d a c t don't react d means dendromastis A means alternaria, C means coelurotrichia, T means trichoderma. Here you may get one confusion. Sir, you said these examples were okay, but in all, in all four classes, in all four classes, there is one fungi which starts with A. Here also there is a fungi which starts with A. Here also there is a fungi which starts with A. Here also there is a fungi which starts with A. Here also. There is a There is a fungus which starts with A. How to remember that? Very simple. Here, you know, Ascomyces, Aspergillus. So A S yes, started with A S, started with A S. So this A confusion you won't get. Correct or not? This A confusion you won't get. And remaining things you have to remember. Okay, remaining things you have to remember. These three only you have to remember carefully. This. This, this. Okay, na? Art and area. Last, it will come. Like that, you remember. Are you clear? Understood. This also you can remember. Here the question is, sir, you said this logic okay, but in all classes there is a fungi which starts with a a a. There is a fungi which starts with a a a. How to remember that? First, I will give one solution. Ascomyces starts with A S. You see which fungus starts with A S? Aspergillus. So A S, A S. This confusion it will go. Next another thing. Next letter you go. B G boys girls. That means Bacillomyces agaricus. First letter you forget. Bacillomyces. Next G K means. Agaricus. So, Bacillomyces agaricus. Agaricus belongs to Bacillomyces because first letter is common now for all. Here also A is there. 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 How to remember that? One confusion we eliminated. Aspergillus starts with A S. Ascomyces starts with A S. So, easily you can remember this. Forget. Next, you go for next letter. B G boys girls like that you remember. B means Bacillomyces. In this R A, in which fungi G comes after A? Here no G. Here no G. Here no G. Here. So B G. Alternaria. Last one. Alternaria. Alternative. So these three fungi are different. This fungi is different. No, because sexual reproduction is not there. That's why you say you think it as an alternative. So Dendromastis alternaria. The last one which left is Albigo. You remember this trick? You will remember the examples. It is very easy for you to object in the objective examination. I am not saying about pure examination. In the objective examination, instead of remembering all these examples, you see you remember this trick. Yam is there. You see which fungus starts with yam in that question paper. Which fungus starts with M? Mucor. So mucor, five fungus. Like that, you remember. So with this.
fungi we completed. According to five kingdom classification, first monera we completed. Next protista we completed. Next fungi we completed. So two classes left: plantae and animal. So we will discuss regarding plantae in the further classes. I hope you understood these examples. They are very important for CET and NEET. Okay, my dear students. Thank you very much. If you have any doubts, you can post your doubt in the group. Thank you.